Good afternoon, Cooper Tire. We are here today to present um, a new recognition program that we have created for you. My name is Erin. My name is Leah. My name is Jay. My name is Maria. I'm Rachel. And our recognition program is called Cooper Tires AA. We understand that this is a grade of tire that is available at your company. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Now more than ever, you can count on Cooper. So to begin, we're going to go over your core values that you already know. Um, they are help each other succeed, have engaged, com engaged communication, be agile, provide world-class customer service, be re results focused, and do the right thing. So we had a focus group with some Cooper Tire employees along with our professor. Um, and these were some quotes from that focus group. Uh, there are less than 10 people awarded, annual, awarded annually based on the criteria for the Chairman's Awards. Um, another one was, I think we'd like to have more tools for employee recognition than just taking people to lunch. In terms of employee engagement, I think we need to work with managers to see how we can make it happen more often. We are just so proud of our product, and don't make recognition a requirement, it may lose sincerity. But some positive comments about the company at this focus group were that it is a very flexible company, a very family-oriented company, and it focuses on forward thinking. And overall, everyone agreed on a lack of recognition from the company. We know that recognition is important in the workplace because it helps build relationships between employees and builds morale within the company and through those different managerial levels. Um, it can make employees more productive, it can help them focus, and it ultimately, ultimately can influence their behavior overall. So we said if an employee is not used to being praised or appreciated, they may not know how much they need it or in the workplace. We saw a few problems with the current recognition program in place at Cooper Tire, some of those being a large disconnect between the upper level management and the lower level employees and through all levels of employees at Cooper Tire. Additionally, there is a lack of a strong recognition program in place, so we want to show you throughout this presentation a strong recognition program that we believe you guys should implement at Cooper Tire. Our project aims to show Cooper, and Tire, Cooper Tire the benefit of an employee-centered recognition program and that it can benefit the entire company at any level. Additionally, we think Cooper Tire has great potential and will benefit from the opportunity to praise its employees more often. So we, like I said, we believe recognition is important and here's a few reasons why. It's considered one of the strongest influences in the workplace for employees. It improves overall transparency, feelings towards change, trust, and engagement. Consistency equals effectiveness. Recognition and feedback help employees grow, and ultimately the younger generations will be taking over the workplace in a few years, so we want to cater more towards the employees that we will be getting and millennials do prefer more recognition. So I'm going to talk about the employee needs. Um, employees feel like they're part of a bigger uh, process when they are given more important um, and more priority on different uh, topics and such. And um, when they have more autonomy and more freedom, it provides them with a greater purpose, they feel trusted, they feel like they're a part of a bigger thing. And um, autonomy is um, examples of flexible hours, more vacation time, um, work from home opportunities, and less supervision on projects. So in this chart you can see that exponentially just um, meeting core needs of employees just once or twice or even up to four times can even double or triple your employees' productivity. Yeah, so one thing when we were trying to look for inspiration for the recognition program, we were looking at the actual tire and comparing that to the employees. So um, one thing you want to do with a tire, you don't want it to be underinflated or overinflated. 
and we compare that to the recognition program. So you don't want to recognize too little or too much. And if you wait too long to recognize, you can get a flat tire from it being um, uninflated. And then also, you need to get your tires checked periodically. So your recognition should be timely. It shouldn't be just once a year. It should be right after the behavior, so the behavior keeps going. And then also, you want to ensure the strength of the tread. And we compared that to um, the top-down leadership. So your recognition program should start with your top leaders and then trickle down. And then also, that will go with the recognition survey that we'll talk about later. And there's also a wide array of tiger tires. And that also has to do with the employees all being different. So they all like different types of recognition. Yeah, so how we want to change Cooper Tires um, recognition program, currently less than um, 10 employees are recognized at the chairman's awards, but there's 9,200 employees. So we really want each and every employee to be recognized. So when we are going over what our recommendations are, as we've talked before, before about the importance of recognition and our policies, we want to distribute recognition a survey to the employees so that we can get an individualized approach for each employee. We want to introduce handcrafted recognition program that we've made for you. And we want to do a mentorship, mentorship program so that your veteran employees can help the younger employees filter in and learn the values of your company. Leadership training is an all, also an essential part of that so that you can make better leaders within your company. We want to integrate the program throughout the whole company, and ju not just within the management sector. So we can revamp the Chairman's Award Ceremony as well to make it more modern and fit the needs of all the employees, not just management. And so this is the survey that we created for you. It's only 10 questions and it's a great way to individualize the approach so that each employee feels like they're being recognized the best way for them. And so this is another part of our recognition program. So we're going to utilize technology in order to apply employees in a job well done. And a, an essential part of that is the e-cards that employees will give peer to peer. This is our PSI program, which replicates the point, pounds per square inch that you get in a tire. As Rachel was talking about, we want to make it individualized for Cooper Tire, and a tire is a great way to do that. So this will be used to measure employee points of recognition in the program. And there are four tiers, just like there are four tires on a car. So that as you go within, once you fill a tire out, you move on to the next one, and you unlock new rewards with each tier. And this is an example of the tiers. So as you can see, this employee has filled one and a half tiers. And so they've unlocked the second tier reward points. So let's explain. So we want to give our employees a variety of awards. Cash is a really great way to do that. But we aren't giving them just cash. We're going to give them um, cards, gift cards, and things like that. And there's going to be different prizes throughout each tier. So here's the four tiers. Um, for each one, there's a certain amount of money that it's worth. It's basically $25 starting at the first one that goes to 50, 75, and 100. So the first tier is the smallest, so that's like gift cards. Second tier could be merchandise or gift cards. And then the third and fourth tier, those are the highest ones, and those um, give you tickets to different events. Um, they're multiple tickets, so you can take family members too. So these are the different areas of recognition. Um, you have the learning and development area. You have the health and wellness, which is a very important aspect of it. You have the recognition, appreciation, safety, and the mentoring section. So for learning and development, you have things like training, conferences. Um, doing that would get you like 30 points to, in order to fill up a tire. Um, health and wellness is like the healthy uh, initiative where if you get your uh, weekly step goal, or you go on a hike or do something like that, you can get up to like 10 points. Then you have recognition and appreciation, which other employees can give to you for doing well on a project or getting a new client or something like that. Um, safety, if you have times without an injury, like weekly, monthly, you can have yearly goals, which are worth like exponentially uh, higher. Um, and then you have mentoring. Um, if you have a good mentor or if you mentor someone well, you can um, nominate someone or be nominated for points of law. Yeah, so like Jake was mentioning, um, this is our employee mentorship program. So um, when employees come to the company, they will be assigned a mentor, and they will meet with them periodically um, throughout the year through Cooper Tire events. And they can also be awarded points through a recognition system um, for being like a good mentor and mentee. 
And then here's our healthy employee initiative idea. Um, healthy employees can save the company about $1,100 per year. Employees who lower their cholesterol levels can save about $1,200 per year. And increased health in employees can lead to decreased stress, improved productivity and teamwork, lower health care costs, less sick days, and even encourage a better work performance. Yeah, so like I mentioned at the beginning, we want to lead by example. So we want to introduce our recognition program to the top leaders and then have it trickle down so that um, people can lead by example. Um, so we'll first introduce it to them and then um, bring it to their um, greatest asset, which is their people all around. For how much money we would propose to Coop Retire to take out of payroll for this recognition program would be roughly 2% of total payroll, and this comes down to $100 per employee or $0.05 cents per point when we talked about those 2,000 points total for the four tires. We came up with this number because we heard from two different vendors in class, and one of them had 1% towards recognition, and the other had 2 to 3 towards recognition, so we wanted to go with an intermediate of the two. And for the chairman's award ceremony, these are the changes that we would like to make. We want to incorporate group recognition. We want to recognize outstanding mentors and award high-achieving individuals, regardless of placement in the company. And then our overall goals, we want to create recognition um, and rewards program. It's, it's an all-inclusive program to current employees and for those to come with Cooper. We, we want to focus on rewarding and praising employees for different reasons through an all-around positive environment. And we also want to keep in mind that timely, consistent, formal, individualized, and flexible recognition is really what our focus is. So we believe um, that implementing this program at, at Cooper Tire will drive employee engagement, increase collaboration, encourage repetition of healthy behavior, satisfy current and future employee needs, and shape the culture of Cooper Tire and rubber through each tire. Yeah, each tire produced. All right, so thank you guys for coming. This is all we have for you. We appreciate your time. <laughs>